Okay, update here. You can see, here's what I, you know, my deck area here. This big flipping piece of rock, where there was a big telephone pole thing here sticking up a good 20 foot and good at least four foot of it in the ground there with the power coming out from the house. I took that down, took the pole out. When I was taking that pole out, I found that in the ground there so now it's a step up onto the deck i moved this this was the second this was the add-on part to the to the shed that was here i it was it was about three foot this way and i pulled it on back here and propped it up uh there I had some fun with some rock balancing there'll be some more this will change here and these these are two days ago wood i brought home look at Look at that, it's total art. And then another one on this side, it just totally, you know, makes this a really powerful uh, presence here. Look at, look at that, man. How long did it take to get like that? How, what, what has it been through to get like that? How, how old is that tree? What happened to that tree? Same with, same with this. There, I'm getting to the pond, but I'm really jazzed about this too. Look at that. Look at the grain patterns in there in the opening where a branch was. Look at that. This is total pure art. Ooh, there, and, I, and then here's another one of the pieces here okay I stood this one up in front of the water meter <laughs> there got a couple of rocks there I'll find another one too there and some other rocks uh, there are some branches waiting for me I'll find some cool places for them already found a good place for one of them Actually, for several of them here, like this one I just put in, just put that one in today, and then this and this the last couple of days. So there's uh, progress on that. Look at that. I'm really looking forward to it raining again because I want to see. And, and here's another one of the pieces of wood I, I brought home here so you know another bridge uh for the cats and squirrels and stuff this rusted up um can was here i moved it here so we could still see it and it'll help kind of diverse the uh the water uh too this is a branch i brought home yesterday Oh man, I love my forest, my ponds, and my streams. I'm looking forward to seeing how how well this part right here I just put in uh, takes care of the water that was leaking through here. This was, you know, I may I created the hole through there when I did this. It was solid rock and the dirt uh, there uh, there, so I. I changed that so the water goes through that and dumps in there against against rocks that help turn it, you know, and go that way and rocks to help keep it from going through here and on down there how it's been. See, the soil is still wet uh, there. And rocks and uh, so one of the things I'll be doing with my highway running uh, there and uh, finding cool rocks and other pieces of driftwood and stuff is I'm gonna have a, a two or three five gallon buckets with me and I'll be get, gathering like uh, um, along uh, beaches the little uh, bits and stones uh, there and filling those up and along rivers or lakes 
there and and then I'll be putting them in like here and down in the pond right next to my deck uh, to there and uh, could be gradually as you know and who knows might end up in all of them you know, as uh, months and years roll on there so I need some more rocks here there I'm going to have some more on the island part there too you can see trees coming up naturally here and back there and hello Buick Hi Buick. There's my there's my uh, slammed beach cruiser back there. My slammed Buick beach cruiser. I'm gonna put a camp chair in there and find a steering wheel for it so I can Im imagine cruising PCH or there in Huntington Beach and cruising uh, cruising the one through Big Sur along the ocean there. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh boy. There's another multi trunk October, or I mean, uh, Oklahoma red bud. There. Oh boy. These were really, they've been through a winter and they were they were struggling before and I didn't know if they were gonna come through the winter, but they have really popped out nice and given a a contrasting color here. No, I don't know what they are uh, there. I don't know if there was a label on them. They were in the discounted area there at uh, Big Creek Nursery there, and I got them for $15 each there, and they are doing phenomenal there. I mean, it's really, really cool. I think they get a bloom on them. Not sure, but if they do, there'll be a video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just got to show you this before in the in the video. Ooh, this is that's a that I just tripped over. Luckily, I didn't stab myself with some thorns. That's a that's a rose bush I planted uh, before the winter there and I really I'm I don't know that it's gonna make it. That pink one is one I brought home at the same time and it has made it. This I don't know. But look at this. Look at look, this is what a the there's another pear tree rotten back to me. It didn't have any pears on it. This so this is both, I got them at the same time there. They've both been through the winter. Look at that. Pears, and new growth there. Pears, 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 pears. I'm gonna have some pears. I'm gonna have some pears this year. I'm gonna have some pears. It had one or two on it when I planted them. Uh, there, but they they didn't even some of the ones on here are, are bigger there. So okay, there's an update there for this area with that pond and streams and this deck and the cool pieces of wood uh, that I brought home and the rocks. Having too much fun. All right, see you in the next video.